Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. So today I'm going to talk about the medium. So what we shoot on, what does it matter? Recently on one of the photo groups online, somebody's been posting photographs that they shot in the 80s on 8x10 film. And there's another photographer who used to be a photo rep and he used to deliver stuff to different camera stores. and photographed a lot of the camera stores that he would have to frequent and he shot those with a large format camera and I recently came upon those and some of those were photo stores that I went to as a kid back in Pennsylvania and one was even a photo mat a little booth sitting in a parking lot right across the street from my house almost and it was fascinating and some of it said to me this is beautiful photography and some of it said this is historical, but I wonder if that medium didn't help that and make that message even stronger. I'm going to go Marshall McLuhan on you. So there's a old textbook by a guy named Marshall McLuhan talking about the medium is the message and the medium matters and the medium that it's delivered on is part of the message. And if I were Woody Allen smart, I would pull Marshall McLuhan over like he did in Annie Hall and said, what do you think about what this guy is saying? Do you agree? Is Marshall, in that movie, I think, said, you know nothing of my work. But the idea is the medium is the message. The medium has something to say about that. And so recently, somebody's been posting photographs from the 80s from Massachusetts, but they're shot with an 8x10 camera. And it could be a corner store. It could be the most ordinary scenes, but those scenes take on energy because of the quality of the photograph. Now maybe you could go to that same location today with a 5D Mark II or 5D Mark VI or whatever they're up to and get a high quality photograph and maybe it's just time that makes it more valuable. But to me there's something about the photographs that I see made with large format cameras, with medium format cameras, shot on real film and add a little bit of time they even take on more importance and maybe that'll change. Maybe that's going to be something that you can do a black and white photo with that digital camera and it'll be just as good because of time making it so good. But there's a interest of mine to photograph things with a large format 4x5 camera and that almost anything I point it at, that becomes more valuable because the camera was pointed there and, and I chose to be a, make that a part of my, my photography. Does that make sense? It's kind of like uh, the fact that you photograph that guitar makes that guitar photograph more valuable than if you did it with your phone. It's almost like you're going to take care in how you shoot it, but then it's also going to have some longevity. It may be hand printed it's on black and white film or it's on color film. There's something about that medium that I think has, I don't know, it, like it raises it up. A friend of mine at Comes to Beers and Cameras, he photographed a pillow after somebody or himself woke up one morning with sunlight coming down across the covers after he got out of bed and the pillow indentation from his sleep. and. I found that to be fascinating and he shot it with an 8x10 camera. And the fact that people use large format, that element that he photographed to me took on importance not only because of the ability to see light and tone and shadow in that ordinariness, but the fact that he used a large camera. Or if you look at the work of Sally Mann photographing her family with an 8x10 camera, I'm just fascinated by whether those photographs could exist and be as valuable shot with a 5D Mark III now. I just think it changes. I think there's something about the medium. And Marshall McLuhan, I think, would go along with my point of view. All right, that's today's photography talk. I welcome your comments. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can subscribe, even five bucks a month, hit the Patreon. Thanks so much for watching.